Hi everyone and welcome to your Valentine's Day special tarot love messages. So we are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you here this Valentine's Day. This reading is for those of you that are you know, single as well as for those of you that are coupled up. So these messages are intended for you regardless of your relationship status here. Um, so we'll go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and see what messages you're being divinely guided to. For those of you that are interested in the personalized tarot um, reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here in the show more section, along with all the information that you will need. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. Okay, so you've got the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Cups, wow, okay, and the Page of Cups. Okay, the moon, death, as well as the high priestess here. Okay, so I am seeing an emotional message coming in for a lot of you. I, I feel like there is a, for some of you, you're going to receive an unexpected message. Unex the arrival of unexpected message or unexpected news comes your way this Valentine's Day. You might hear from someone whom you've... Um, some of you, I feel like, are in anticipation. For some of you, it is unexpected only because you've anticipated, but there's something quite fairy tale, something quite like very novel-esque, very Disney-esque about the, the Page of Cups alongside the Ten of Cups. I feel like for some of you, this person that you're hearing from, um, this is a romantic interest of yours, and maybe you didn't necessarily expect for this person to come in with such an open emotional message, or you didn't expect for this person to reach out. For some of you, this is someone whom you've maybe had um, history with, um, this this is someone who's going to reach out and communicate. I guess I get that it's unexpected though. For a lot of you, I get that this is an unexpected message that arrives to you, and I say that because, yeah, I do feel like there's something very uh, novelesque about this card. There's a you know the fish that pops out of the page of cups, uh, out of the chalice. We don't necessarily you know we don't expect the fish to be. Um, in the chalice, rather it should be in the sea where it belongs. So you hear from you, you'll either hear from someone whom you haven't heard from in a long time, um, and I feel like it's not so much that they reach out to you for some of you; it's that this person thought of you, okay, on Valentine's Day. For others of you, I feel like there is someone here that comes in with an emotional message. So they may open up here and tell you that this person has very strong romantic feelings for you. Maybe this person is in love with you. Maybe this person is, you know in the process of falling in love with you here um, or, or the emotion or the message that they deliver they're going to be very emotional um, when they deliver this message to you or the message she will drive you to could drive you to tears it could uh, move you here so I'm seeing something uh, I seeing I'm seeing the message being very emotionally um, evoking a lot of emotions within you now with the nine of wands I feel like some of you are some of you are wounded, okay? Some of you, I feel like, are spending this Valentine's Day where you're you're a little bit wounded, whether it's a, from a previous hurt relationships, um, whether you just have a personal vendetta against this um, day in general. But I feel like some of you are a little bit, um, a little bit hurt by it. I'm not sure. Maybe um, something painful, you know, something painful. Um, there was a painful experience or traumatic experience that. Um, sort of um, you were involved with um, and now you associate it with Valentine's Day. Maybe some of you had a very bad breakup around this date. So I feel like some of you are really, I'm seeing some of you are hurt. You're feeling very hurt. Some of you are hurt that someone here, someone whom I feel like you have a very strong um, interest, a very strong romantic interest in, they may not necessarily reach out or they do connect with you, but they don't necessarily um they may still be guarded, okay? They may still not be as open as you want this person to be, okay? This person um, may still be a little bit emotionally guarded or a little bit closed off here. So I'm seeing some of you are hurt or wounded by something here. Now, with um, that's not for everyone. That's for some of you. Whilst for others, I'm seeing that you are in a very strong romantic alignment with someone. And I do feel like this is the person that delivers the romantic message to you. Even if this individual um, is someone whom I feel like you haven't heard from in a long time just because this you know this person hasn't been around you physically or hasn't necessarily been a constant presence in your life it doesn't mean that this person has forgotten about you or it doesn't mean that this person has, uh, has forgotten um you know what the two of you do share is something truly special 
for a lot of you, I feel like this Valentine's Day will be something truly um, remarkable. It will be something very, very memorable because some, some of you are coming out of an emotionally challenging situation and I feel like this Valentine's Day you're going to use that as an opportunity and you're going to take advantage of it to reconcile your differences or reconcile any any squabbles or any disputes or any conflicts that you've had. You'll get your rainbow at the end of a storm. Um, others of you, I feel like this Valentine's Day you will receive, you know, at the start of this spread, I spoke about something very powerful. Some of you, I feel like for all of you actually, I'm seeing new cycles. You do have the moon which is, you know, suggestive of cycles and then of course you have death which is transformation information it's it's it, it's endings that usher in new beginnings it's uh, new chapters here so whether you are single or coupled up I'm seeing you're on the verge okay you're transitioning into a new cycle so for those of you that are single I am seeing that there is a new romantic prospect coming your love coming your way okay a new love a new romantic encounter a new romantic adventure your prince charming your princess here your happily ever after that Disney that Disney-esque fairy tale um, book romance that you're seeking that is coming your way here okay because you're you finished up one cycle and you're about to enter a new cycle and this cycle that is coming in for you here guys especially for those of you that do find yourself single um, presently as I do the reading I do feel like you're entering a new cycle so it's um, be sure to leave any past residues of resentment hurt or bitterness behind because you are you know you've got the sun and the sun lifts on a new day okay so be sure to leave the past behind any breakups any past resentments or any past hurts because um, I feel like there is someone new coming in for you for those of you that are single so be sure to make room for this person in your life for others of you that are in a romantic connection you are moving the connection into a new stage okay you're elevating into a new stage some of you are going to receive a very romantic proposal here for an engagement to move in to um, get married here uh, propose uh, your Valentine's your sweetheart might propose that you know the two of you start building a family you might even receive news that you are expecting here um, some of you are receiving some very big um, news that I feel like will transform you physically mentally emotionally but I also see it transforming your life here. So I am seeing, you know, it's this elevation and this um, moving on, this progression and moving on to the next chapter here. Now, um, some of you, the message I'm picking up with the moon card, you're in two minds about something. You're in two minds about something or someone. For those of you that I feel like you're... You could be single or I feel like there is a romantic interest, but you're not really in a relationship. You're not really in a romantic connection. I mean, this person is a connecting energy there around you in the sense that, you you know, this is someone whom I feel like really intrigues you and fascinates you. But I feel like you're in two minds about as to whether or not you should reach out to this individual. I feel like you're in two minds and it's like you're pinging your pinging back and forth. Should you connect with them? Should you not? If you reach out, will they respond? Um, and for some of you, I feel like the hesitation here is because you've had something, like you spoke with this person, but then the connection faded out. It feels a little awkward or uncomfortable for you or for this person to connect just because of how you left it. And this is why I feel like this person is Someone here is a bit hesitant. Someone here is a little bit hesitant. Someone here is in two minds. But they're thinking about you or you're thinking about them or you're wanting to hear from them or this person is wanting to reach out here is what I'm seeing. So I am seeing you probably will hear from this person, though I don't know that will happen. So if this resonates with you, this particular message, you will hear from them. But I don't know if that will happen this Valentine's Day, only because I feel like there's something awkward about them reaching out specifically on Valentine's Day, just because of how you left things. So you might hear from this person. I feel like it'll be sometime in March, though. I'm getting March. Um, and I feel like it'll be in the evening. I'm seeing in the evening because all of this illumination, and especially, you know, the moon and the crescent moon here. For some of you, it'll be actually, for some of you, it might be early morning, the sun lifting. But for the majority of you, I feel like it'll be in the evening. You might receive like a late night text from this individual. Okay, so that's that's for some of you. That's not for all of you. But just going back to the whole cycles, I am seeing a, um, a cycle here. You're entering a new cycle. A new chapter here, something very, something very big, something remarkable, something wonderful, something powerful here. Okay, um, the high priestess. Okay, 
she's urging um she's urging now whenever she lands in your spread she urges you to use your intuition okay some of you i feel like you're a little bit uncertain right you're a little bit uncertain as to whether or not you should reach out to someone or you're a little bit uncertain as to whether or not you should text someone back here it's someone who i feel like you're a little bit unsure of um or it's someone whom i feel like you want to you want to maintain maintain a sense of control or a sense of power in this connection okay so for those of you that do relate to this um, particular situation i'm seeing that the high priestess is urging you to trust your intuition so if this is someone whom you want to reach out and communicate drop them a you know sweet little text message or go ahead and give them a call if your intuition is telling you you know do it what's the worst that could happen um go, go for it okay because your intuition is not going to steer you wrong it's trying to steer you in the direction that you need to go in however if your intuition is trying to dispute that and that inner voice is saying don't do it you know despite you wanting to do it okay i feel like use your intuition okay don't let your emotions cloud your judgment because sometimes emotions you know we don't always make the most um we don't always make the most make the most sensible decisions when we come from an emotional or irrational um, standpoint. So, for some of you, I feel like there is someone whom you want to connect with here, okay? But your intuition is saying, "Don't go there. Don't do it," or "Not right now," or "Not Valentine's Day." Um, probably not a good idea maybe later but not right now listen to your intuition so whatever your intuition is telling you even if your intuition is advising you against some of these messages that you heard i'd rather that use your intuition and supplement your intuition with that of these tarot guides so there you have it guys these are just some of the messages that are coming in for you here this valentine's day i want to wish you all a happy valentine's day um I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings throughout the week, so do stay tuned. Thank you guys again for your time and your attention. It is greatly appreciated. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free just to reach out and inquire. I will list that email address just below the video. Otherwise, guys, enjoy the weekend, and I'll catch up with you later in the week. Bye for now.